Hello guys, I will try to show you how to use Rigify and export the, uh, the uh, rigged skeleton to the Unreal Engine 5 without any use add-ons or stupid things. Just we need to arrange some small things and actually it's gonna work. So basically, uh, let's assume that uh, you have a proper uh, rig uh, the bone alignment for your meta rig. So I will go with body and with metric that I have already aligned everything so I assume you are ready to generate your rig and ready to go so before generating our rig actually I would like to mention some small things so for example if you select your metric and go to pause mode uh, you will see uh, I will show you what to arrange before doing it so basically for limbs arm uh, this is going to be rotation axis automatic and lip segment probably it's going to be two let's make it one and also same for the other arm let's make it one we can leave it automatic that's fine and we will do the same thing for legs what's the reason the reason is uh, because in a metric we are cre we are giving one bone for lower arm or upper arm as you can see one bones here and one bones for each uh, section but when you generate the rig you are gonna get two bones which we don't want it actually because the Unreal Engine mannequin uses one bone for a uh, tight and uh, this shin let's say um, basically we are just gonna select this one and this is gonna be initially automatic so make it one and set it to X manual and do the same thing for the legs. We are setting X manual for the legs because uh, while while you are aligning the bones, probably it's gonna be a bit uh, rotated, so uh, it's not exactly uh, resulting what you want. So select the leg bones, and initially it's gonna be automatic. Make it one here, the lip uh, limb segment. It should be one, and make it X manual. And also for the fingers, probably you have already, if you are working with Rigify, probably you have already noticed that the super finger bones has to be X manual to make it uh, better. And just make sure you have already aligned them. You have already set the correct uh, alignment for the super finger uh, bones. They have to be X manual. So basically that's it before generating the rig. And also let's see our eyes because we are going to implement them with the body. So we can go to object mode and we can generate our rig right now. Okay, our rig is generated. So let's go with body and make the automatic weight transfer for our generated rig. So I'm not selecting metric, this is the generated rig and I will transfer my weights to the generated rig. And it's gonna be automatic weights. Let's see how it looks like. So in the rig I will go to pause mode and see how everything works. After this point actually you don't need to see metric anymore, so you can just hide it and check everything is okay. Actually, that's that's good enough, I would say. Oops. So it looks good, but uh, when you have already transferred the weights, probably you will see the eyes are not moving. So we need to do a small arrangement. Let's start with eyes and I will go through with spines as well. And because actually we didn't deform these uh, eyes with rig. So, so let's select the eye and the rig. We'll go with deform, but with armature deform only. We don't need automatic transfer weight because we are gonna assign one bone each of them. So let's do the same thing for the right eye. Let's go with armature deform. And as you can see, we have no vertex group for eyes. So what we are gonna do here? As you can see, left eye and right eye, we need to assign these bones for the weight painting. Let's go with uh, 
a wireframe and we need to go weight painting so here what I'm, what I'm gonna do is I will just assign the whole uh, the whole vertex I will just control X it's gonna assign the one uh, weight for the whole section and we are just gonna go for this one it's gonna be a mechanical eye left bone and the same thing let's go to object mode select your eye right and let's go to weight paint do the same thing control x and you go here and give the correct bone name for this one okay now we are done and then we need to do one thing because initially the, these bones are not deforming bones initially but we need to set them as deform so what we can do here we can just go there search for these bones if you select them in the bone section you will see these are not deforming bones just select them as deforming bones do the same thing for right eye just click deform and let's go and check how our rigs goes with pause mode and actually you can see your eyes are totally correct and the other things are also fine you can just check so if the rigs are working correctly then we need to uh, do some alignments before exporting it to the unreal engine uh, let's go to object mode and now we have the body and we have some vertex group for which we have already transferred weight to those bones which are only deforming bones as you can see but what we need to do is here if you go to the rig you will see a stupid hierarchy which is created by rigify which has some root and some spines on it actually we don't need this section at all so what we are gonna do this root has deforming spine bones we don't need them in Unreal Engine so we are just gonna select our body we will go to uh, this vertex group and let's search for spine you will see seven spines I think what we need to do is we are just gonna copy all of them let's duplicate this vertex group for each of them because we are going to assign the corresponding bones for unreal engine i should that's that's basically it and as you can see we have some copies after that I will also share this uh, in the description you can see for example depth spine you need to assign torso for example spine 1 is gonna be mechanical spine 1 2 and 3 and 4 you will has to be orc spine 4 it's gonna be orc spine 5 and it's gonna be orc spine 6 that's basically it and before exporting because we don't need this hierarchy in our real engine just go there and make these spines not deforming so only seven bones has have to be set to not deforming mesh so basically that's it so we are actually ready to export let's select everything here what we can see and let's go to export let's go with fbx i will just name it rig tutorial for now and i will show you how to export correctly uh, you can select the copy mode <clears throat> and also click this one to uh, export materials initially probably for this tutorial it's not gonna work but um, if you have a proper because i copied this from somewhere else and it's not gonna find the textures in it <clears throat> In geometry uh, we can select face for armature it has to be only deformed bones this is very important it has to be only deformed bones and we don't need leaf bones so uncheck this value uh, you can directly uncheck the animations because because we aren't gonna export the animations we need only skeleton and skeleton mesh so we can export the FBX and if we go to here uh, let's go to our here content here rig tutorial 
I have already created a read character, so we are gonna import this FBX here. Basically, you don't need to do anything here, I think. It's gonna be skeletal mesh, and you can just go ahead and import. Um, don't worry about the warnings, and if we open it, you will see a skeletal mesh, something like this. And let's check, yes, exactly, you have only one rig, and torso parent, and torso. This is the hierarchy that you need to have in Unreal Engine. So basically, how we can retarget the animations. In iKey, uh, Mannequin, if you have already imported the third person uh, content in your project, then you will see here uh, Mannequins and Rigs. You will find these Rigs here. So I opened this one. This is the initial one. So what we are going to do, we are going to create the same thing for Rigify. So what you can do is, you can just copy this iKey mannequin and paste it and name it to Rigify because we are gonna create new chains for them. So you can just check here what I have done. Uh, basically what I have done is because we have already removed the, the root bones and the spines. So we need to, I have separated the spine bones for each chain basically that's that's the only change I think to un, to make it understand because uh, in uh, Rigify uh, hierarchy, these spines are not coming exactly like this. So we cannot assign only one spine chain for five of them. So I just separated them. For example, spine one, spine two, spine three, spine four, spine five. Left up leg and left down leg, you can see. I will just make it like uh, slowly here if you want to do the exact the same thing you can um, replay and do it and actually you can just copy this one after creating and you can paste for your character here our character is here I will create a new rigs for them for it uh, actually, I, 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 I'm not gonna create from scratch because I have already have it here somewhere for Rigify. I will just copy paste it and I will just give my uh, rig tutorial here because the hierarchy is the same and everything is gonna match. So here I will show you what I have assigned because we have the same chains for IQ mannequin here, the same chain names for our rigged character. Just the bones name are different. So we need to assign the correct bones. I will show you how, uh, what I assigned here. I will just go it slowly and you can see and replay if you want to recreate the same thing. And actually that's it, root is rig and the spines are a bit different you need to assign the correct spines and neck is this one yeah that's basically it so after you have already created this one let's rename it ik rig story so you can create a new r key retargeter so basically our target is gonna be our uh, rig tutorial and the source is gonna be mannequin for rigify if you select those things let's put it a bit uh, right there so you can go there auto align all bones and it's gonna align everything as you can see there there might be some uh, small things but that's not a big issue so you can just uh, do some alignments but after it actually if you run it probably you will have a correct almost like 70 80 percent correct retargeted animations of course not the best one but you can still play around with the bone uh, rotations and you can make it better
So let's go and let's export some animations. So basically, why why do we need this? Because for example, I want to use the facial animations from Blender. So I can create a new animation from Blender and export it to the Unreal Engine. And also I can use the, the animation has already created in Unreal Engine to retarget to my character. Because in Unreal Engine, in uh, Animation Blueprint, for example, while my character is running, I can set the facial expressions from what uh, the animations I created from Blender very in, very easily. So basically, I can use the whole rig system from here and also from here. So if you if you uh, need to use the same both things at at the same time, so this is this is the way I think. Mm -hmm. And you will see your animations actually is working. Yeah, so that's basically it. There is some small arrangements that you need to do, and basically th those rigs you need to pr you you have to create only one time because this is only one time, and this one you just copy and paste it, and you just change the skeletal mesh because the hierarchy is gonna be the same if you create it from Rigify. So this is the only one-time uh, creation for those things. You don't need to repeat them every time. Yeah, actually that's that's basically it. So if you have any other questions or uh, suggestions, or maybe you have a better uh, approach for this case, but I really couldn't find anything else about to Rigify and exporting to the Unreal Engine without using any add-ons or whatsoever. So that that's it. Okay, thank you guys.